हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कैलाश चंद कटारिया आई एम एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ गर्ल्स कॉलेज जयपुर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड सो बेसिकली वट आर अमाइनो एसिड अमाइनो एसिड्स आर द स्ट्रक्चर सब यूनिट ऑफ प्रोटीन सो बेसिकली ऑन द हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑफ प्रोटीन इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ कंसनट्रेशन एस सी एल वॉट वी गेट वी गेट एल एल्फा अमाइनो एसिड सो वॉट इज एल एल्फा अमाइनो एसिड सो बेसिकली वेन वी सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द अमाइनो एसिड अमाइनो एसिड इज हैविंग एन एस टू ग्रुप सी ओ ओ नेगेट सी ओ एच ग्रुप कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप एंड एच एंड ए आर ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इट इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड सो वेन दिस एन एस टू ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट इन द लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट साइड सो दिस इज नॉन एस एल एल्फा अमाइनो देर वर ट्वेंटी डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड प्रेजेंट बट नाउ एट इज हाउ मेनी अमाइनो एसिड सो देट देर इज ए ट्वेंटी टू अमाइनो एसिड हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड नाउ एट इज सो विच वन इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अमाइनो एसिड एंड विच वन इज ट्वेंटी टू से अमाइनो एसिड सो बेसिकली ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अमाइनो एसिड इज सेलेनो सिस्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड अमाइनो एसिड इज पायरोलाइसिन about okay. the various type of charge present on the amino acid so if i say that amino acid or a protein is placed uh, in in a high ph solution simple question that if proteins are placed in two different type of solutions so if i ask that proteins are placed in the low ph solution and proteins are placed in the high ph solution so which type of charge will present on amino acid so this can be easily solved by a simple trick which is low ph mean there will be high h plus ion concentration or high ph mean there will be high oh ion concentration and there will be low h plus ion concentration if i form a structure of amino acid then i will find that ns3 uh, ns3 present in the positive form c this this will be co negative form h and r so in the high ph concentration or, or if i say that in the low ph concentration so there will be in low ph concentration concentration there will be high h plus ion concentration so that's why high h plus so this this h plus will form co h group so that's why protein will be having which type of charge positive charge so in the presence of low ph uh, protein or amino acid will be having which charge ne positive charge protein which is present in the high ph so in the presence of high ph there, there will be high oh ion concentration so this will be negative r group and h group so in the high uh, oh ion concentration this will form uh, a water molecule here okay minus h2o and protein will be having negative charge so what is the conclusion conclusion is that in the presence of low ph protein will have Uh, or we can say that in the acidic ph protein is having positive charge or in the basic ph protein is having negatively charged different charge. type of structure of uh, of amino acid so basically uh, in this video lecture we will be discussing about various type of structure and this structure can be easily learnt by such simple techniques which is being taught to you okay so in the so amino acid may uh, can be categorized in different type of categories the first one category which is going i am going to explain you is non polar amino acid that what are the non polar amino acid and how their structure can be easily learned by applying such simple techniques so first of all okay what will be the basic structure of amino acid the basic structure of amino acid will be having ns3 c h group a r group and a uh, co negative group so okay what are the non polar amino acid so first one non polar amino acid which i am going to explain you is, uh, is glycine so in the glycine in place of r there is h so basically uh, this glycine is not a chiral so i can say that okay what is chiral carbon so basically chiral carbon is having four different when four different groups are attached to a particular type of carbon then this uh, this Uh, carbon is known as chiral carbon so is uh, chiral carbon also known as asymmetric carbon so or this carbon is responsible uh, for mainly for conformation or we, uh, we can say that 
the isomers so glycine won't be having any type of isomer they uh, won't be having any type of um, I, I can say that any type of optical isomer so, this is the basic structure of amino acid c r c o negative group and a h group this was glycine so in place of glycine if i place c s 3 group then what what i get i will get alanine so by just applying simple technique uh, i have formed alanine okay now if i if i replace this h group this both hydrogen valency with two cs3 group then what i get i will get leucine uh, sorry with this uh, i will get valine valine so this is the valine okay uh, this is the structure of valine if i place a cs2 group then what i get this is the structure of leucine so this is the uh, by just simple modification or by just applying simple tricks we can easily learn different type of structure 20 different type of structure of amino acid so this is the structure of leucine okay now i now i am going to form the structure of isoleucine so isoleucine and leucine both are isomers so you just need to understand that what are the basic difference between both of them so this is the co negative h group uh, r group in, in place of r we, what we we are, we are we are having ch2 ch ch3 group and ch3 group so in place of this ch ch2 group if i remove this hydrogen and i place a ch3 group here and this will be having C, ch2 and ch3 so what i formed what i form, i just formed isoleucine this can also be formed by just removing this ch3 group and placing this ch3 group at here and this will be ch2 so this is the structure of leucine and isoleucine uh, the next amino acid which is f that f is phenyl alanine so phenyl alanine can be easily formed by which amino acid phenyl alanine ca uh, can be easily formed by the amino acid which is which is known as alanine so what is the structure of alanine alanine structure is co negative and alanine is having ch3 group at the place of r so basically when i remove this hydrogen or when i replace this hydrogen with a phenyl group that is c6h5 group then what i get i just get going to alanine. form the structure of proline to proline so proline is an amino acid basically proline is a amino acid so amino acid means it is having which group ns2 plus group so the structure of proline will be in a cyclic ring and this can be easily formed okay let's start so basically in the in place of r it is having ch2 ch2 and ch2 so in the structure of amino acid uh, what we have we have co negative and h plus this is the basic structure sorry okay so in place of okay this is the ns3 ns2 group which is present in the proline and proline uh, so that's why we are calling proline as a amino acid so this is the structure of proline but i need to make a cycle so that's why i will remove it and i will join it here and what i what i get i just get structure proline. of methionine so the structure of methionine is totally different from all type of amino acids so the structure of methionine is ns3 plus c co negative h and in place of r in the methionine we have ch2 group ch2 group s and ch3 tryptophan so basically the structure of tryptophan is having ns3 plus group ch and this is this will be co negative and in place of r group it is having ch2 and we have to form two cyclic different type of rings so first ring is five membrane ring and you need to make the second ring is which will be having six member six mem member okay so this is the structure of tryptophan okay uh, where you need to place c double bond ch and nh and this will be having so this is the structure of basically tryptophan. this is the structure of tryptophan 
ओके तो व्हाट आर द ट्रिक दैट हाउ कैन यू इजीली जस्ट लर्न द ऑल ऑल टाइप ऑफ नॉन पोलर अमाइनो एसिड तो दिस कैन बी इजीली लर्न बाय सिंपल टेक्निक व्हिच इज G A V L I Gavli and you the second one is double P M T. Yani you have heard about P M T, but this is the double P M T. So this is the glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, proline, phenylalanine, methionine, and the last one is tryptophan. So by uh, by just knowing this simple technique, you will be able to know that uh, um, uh, all the structure of non-polar amino acid. So thank you for watching this videos.